Hello, fellow gamers, and we're back. Another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Thank you guys for checking out the episode today. I appreciate your uh, unwavering support on the series. We continuously seem to be hitting a consistent amount of views. You guys are crushing the 300 likes every episode. Thank you guys very much. Here we go. Comment of the day. Reach into the old comment bag. What do we got here? Let's see what we can pull out today. Uh, the cast is real. Probably the most fun run on the streak that I have seen. It seems like always having these semi-good, quiet, intense runs is the best. Being OP and melting is sometimes fun, but gets boring fast. And these awful runs where you kite each room for two minutes just drags out too much. This seemed like a lot of fun. Uh, I picked that comment because it's an underrated comment, uh, Cass. Thank you very much for interacting with the series. Uh, yeah, that was on the, when I got two episodes ago, I think, when I got Guppy in the chest. Uh, yeah, it, it, those those runs that you, they don't jump off the screen, but you, they're, they're tight, but they're not so tight where it's like boring to watch. It's, it's a blend of like being powerful, having interesting items, getting a little bit lucky, not too lucky. Uh, the, the run is kind of in question the whole time, but not so much where it's like, I can't commentate and my butt is clenched and everybody else's butt is clenched. It's, it's, a, it's very rare, I feel like, you get runs like that, where it's that balance of just, just fun, just fun run, where it's like, you know, you never know. It's a fun run, but you never know, and it's not too weak, where it's boring to watch. It's, uh, that's an underrated comment, and I agree. Uh, that's the kind of run that I want every episode, where I'm on edge, but not so on edge, where I can't have fun. That's 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 the beauty and the balance of Isaac sometimes. Uh, sometimes, be, th to be fair though, being OP can be really fun because then I could riff about stuff that isn't Isaac without really having to worry about the streak. So that's fun. Uh, and it's also fun to be OP when you've had like weak, couple weak runs in a row. But I totally know where, I see where you're coming from and uh, Solid comment there. Um, we have a pretty whack start here. We have glass cannon, and we also have the uh, what is this called? Ares, the Ram, the Taurus, the Ford Taurus. Uh, it's a speed up, right? I think. I think it's a speed up. I mean, we got 1.2 speed. It's above average. We have 4.46 damage, which is definitely above average. Uh, our tier rate is probably the weakest uh, spot of the run. Probably get rid of these flies before we kill this dude. And let's see what's in our first item room. We also have a blank rune. It's compound fracture. We'll take it. We're turning our tiers into bone tiers that are going to explode on impact. Again, our tiers, tier rate, I should say, is not the best. Uh, but our damage is pretty dang good, and our range is pretty dang good as well. This blank rune can be used in a myriad of different ways. If we really dislike the boss item, we could always try to use it as a per throw, which would re-roll the item. We don't know what it is, because it's a blank rune. But it's usually a good idea. Well, we're going to get... Uh, an orbital. And an orbital is not bad, but should I use it as a per throw anyway? There's really no point to take those soul hearts just yet. Just because going down to the next floor is very important that we have soul heart protection, of course, to protect our deal with the devil. I think if we stand above him, he will not charge like that anymore. Probably make the fight go a lot quicker. He will spawn more flies. I didn't mean to take that soul heart, but made our bed. We got to sleep in it. The Jersey cotton sheets. Okay. Well, we tried to reroll it. I mean, I'm not mad about having Cuba meat. We did get uh, the mapping from the, the rune. I think we go super secret room here instead of secret room. It did not pay off. That happens. It happens to the best of us. We have seven cents, which we could buy an item on sale. Let's just check it out. Okay, well, no item on sale, 
But I do like PhD. I just don't have 15 cents for it. Everybody seems to yell at me when I don't take PhD. So that is me just talking about it a little bit to, in hopes that you guys don't yell at me anymore. Uh, PhD is great, but, but can't get it now. Okay, next floor. Here we go. Sip of the old iced coffee. We are at the end of that iced coffee, boys, and I am very upset about it. Very, very upset. At least we got Cuba meat. Cuba meat is better than ball of bandages. Uh, it's a little bit more powerful. I am very tempted to obviously hit the glass cannon. I don't, I don't want to. It's just I know how powerful glass cannon can be. Uh, it's just it puts me down to one hit, and that is way too risky for a streak that is at 27 right now, which we're trying to make 28. Come here, little spider. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. Some would say you would hate to see it, a speed down there. Uh, but it's what we got to live with now that we took the pill. I guess we've set the precedent of uh, taking pills here on this run. Usually when I have this much HP, I don't mind taking pills. I feel like I have a lot to gain as far as tears go. If we get a tears down, though, that could very well plummet us into the abyss. We do have a bone heart, which I did uh, decide to fill there. Could be bad. I feel like bone hearts can get in the way more than they can help most of the time, but we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. I'm just I'm just taking what the run's given to us, you know? Sometimes you just got to take what it's given. I love this hairstyle. I'm, I'm not sure about the horns sticking out. I'm not sure about it. Very interesting spot for a bomb to spawn, but okay. We are going to use the bomb that we just got. I don't feel like killing the spider, so I'm going to despawn him. We're going to get the soul heart. We do have a 100% chance to deal with the devil. With that being said, we might as well just fight the boss right now. There's really no point in sitting around waiting. I mean, I could one-shot pin by using the glass cannon, but man, would we, we would lose a lot of HP. <laughs> and it is not worth it. Speaking of HP... It's just, yeah. It's not a great deal with the devil, but we'll take it. Uh, it's, old bandage isn't great. I, uh, we'll just take it though, I guess. Sure. Sure. All right. Let's uh, do our due diligence here. F do the full explore. Get the item room. Get the shop. Use, ooh. That's nice. Get the shop, get the item room. We can open all this for free. Really? Okay. Uh, the Bible, not super interested in. I could buy a soul heart. I could buy a bomb. We could do all of those things if we wanted in two cents, which we will probably get two cents. It's not guaranteed. Probably, if I had to choose, I would buy a bomb bomb out that gold chest and open it for free. I think that's the play, but I'm not going to buy a bomb until we full explore and hopefully get the money for it, but we could also just get a bomb drop, so that's another reason I'd wait it out. Doesn't look like we're going to get the money or the bomb just yet. Monster Manuel. Uh, that's a book which makes the Bible more tasty. We're going to go into here. I don't have a bomb. I don't know how I didn't get hit by those fires there, but I will take it. We will probably not play Pandora's Box until womb number one. I think that's still the best place to play it just because you get two boss items. Uh, we don't have a bomb to find a secret room, so it looks like we're handcuffed here, unfortunately. Uh, we do not have the two cents to buy the bomb. And... We can't get a secret room because we have no bombs. And I was going to say, there might be fires in here. There is. But they didn't give us anything. Is there poops or fires that we didn't completely do our due diligence with? Because if we get two cents, we get a bomb, which lends us to getting a free golden chest. Just double checking. If there's any fires or poops that we didn't shoot, it's not looking like it. Pop, 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 pop. 
Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, it's not looking like it. We did touch a book, though. Let, let's keep that in mind. We need two more books for Bookworm. I guess we should check this room just because we've already uh, ventured up here. Yeah, nothing doing and nothing doing as far as fires and poops go. I guess we should check the shop since we're up here. <laughs> I could just see someone saying, hey, Jay, you, you didn't. There was fires in the shop you never shot and you explored, but not full explored. But we shot all the fires in the shop. We did everything we could. Maybe potentially could have used Pandora's box there. I don't think it's that important, though. I think the two boss items in Womb 1 is pretty dang important. Uh, it also makes a Womb something to look forward to, which is not something you can say often. We're still looking for tiers here. Tier rate, that is. Uh, very interesting. Okay, now we got bouncy bones. We got bouncy bones that explode. Oh, this is fun. This is shaping up to be something really fun. Hopefully we get some sort of hangman card, some sort of flight to be able to get that heart. Not sure who to kill first here. Got to kill somebody. Two keys. Use the cube of meat as much as possible. Try not to take damage, though, with it. Because it's really just an impatient tool to get through a room. It's a powerful and efficient tool, but a little bit impatient to use it when you don't have to. Oh, wow. Took a lot of shots right to the face there. Okay, we got two coins, gives us five cents. Shop viable, boys. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll fill the bone heart. I don't really know. Ooh, ooh. I think the green boy is going to turn into two, right? No, he does not. Okay. Well, shop, here we go. Uh, we have a battery, a bomb in here, which we do not have any bombs. We could definitely buy the bomb. Um, this might seem like a weird purchase, but we're going to do that to blow up the beggar to get a little bit of a better chance at a deal with the devil. I would like to buy Hive Mind. I don't know if we're going to get 13 cents. It seems hard to believe with uh, the amount of money that we've currently got on this run, which is not a lot. So it seems pretty hard to believe that we'll be able to to get some of that, but we'll see. Just watch out for their heads peeking out. Freaking Stony chasing us around. Uh, okay, okay. We do probably have the best chance we have at getting a deal with the devil. I don't think we can increase it really much. Get our cube of meat in there as much as possible. He seemed a little frozen there for a second. Um, I ain't mad about it, you know. If you want to freeze, freeze all day. That's fine. I'm here to keep the streak alive. We whiffed on the deal with the devil, but... Big butt here. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Synth oil is going to be great for us. Going to up our damage. Very nice. Our bones got a little bit bigger. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. I wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat and a 6'4 Impala. Uh, we shoot the black poops here. Soften them up a bit. Taking two years to even get to the black poops. Holy crap. Did not expect that. I don't know if that was a huge chain reaction with my bouncing bones and the black poops or what? Oh, that's BS. I killed him over the void. We still need tears. We still need tears. Tier rate. See what's in the challenge room. Oh yeah. 
And that is what I would call a whiff, but those troll bombs really helped us out there. And we did get one soul heart, so it's not a complete whiff, I guess. It's like a uh, it's like a ground ball to, to the shortstop. It was like a routine out, but not a complete whiff and a strikeout, I guess. We at least got some wood on the ball. Speaking of wood on the ball and speaking of grounding out to the shortstop, can't wait for MLB The Show. And I can already feel you guys falling asleep. Hey, wake up, guys. Wait. Guys, wait. Wake up. <laughs> guys, come back. Hey, I think baseball's boring too. But man, MLB The Show, what a great video game. And we play it pretty much every year on my stream. And this year's going to be no different. In like two weeks, that game comes out. Oh, wow. That's very, very nice. I'll definitely take that. Two lemon party pills. We use Guppy's Paw twice. Uh, we still have the Bone Heart and the Red Heart, which we found out last episode. You cannot Guppy's Paw a Bone Heart. So we're going to move on here. I think I think that due diligence and that searching was very good, and it paid out with a Guppy item, which I'm happy about. There's We have no bombs. Who am I kidding? We haven't had bombs this whole entire run. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a huge baseball guy either, but man... MLB The Show is a great video game, no matter how you look at it. And there is a countless amount of people that come in to my stream and say, Hey, Jay, really enjoying this. I don't even like baseball, but for some reason, I'm enjoying this. And I'm like, hey, man, me too. So with that all being said, in about two weeks, that game comes out. Make sure you follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash wolves at my door. Um, I know some of you guys probably have watched me play like, play like Madden and stuff because I played a lot of Madden on my YouTube. Um, so I know it's probably not such a shock to hear that we'll be playing MLB The Show when it comes out. But this is something I figured I'd uh, throw out there. I, I don't think I'm going to make any YouTube content on it. Um, I don't think. I don't know. Uh, but who knows? Who knows what the future holds? All right, 67% chance to get a deal with the devil. We could probably swindle that into 72% chance. We're still holding on to this Pandora's box. We have one guppy item, which is something we got to take into account when we're looking at deals with the devil, looking at, you know, red chests, looking at curse rooms. Okay. All right, have not found the item room or the shop. We are very key rich on this run. We are very bomb poor, very bomb poor on this run. Uh, but the keys keep coming and they keep coming and we keep getting golden keys and we keep picking up keys in general. I mean, it's better than, you know, I guess being key poor and bomb poor. We have 13 cents, two cents to make the shop very, very, very much viable. That ever so sweet 15 cent marker. Do, do, do. I think it could be cool if like the shops got like an overhaul. Uh, meaning like not every item in the shop was 15 cents like some some shop items were more than 15 cents And then some other items in the shop were less than 15 cents even though they were items. You know what I mean? Uh, Dead eye is a take for sure. I like dead eye a lot. I know there was a refresh in there but Sometimes uh, you, you just take what you got and we have a 72% chance of to deal with the devil now We have been super rude to our donation machine So I'm gonna give back a little bit. We actually got a luck up out of it we also bought BFF, which makes our cube of meat bigger. But that was a little bit of a future purchase in case we get a, any familiars that would uh, benefit from BFF. Very nice there. Uh, luckily found a secret room. And the secret room is just filled with one piece of poop. But yeah, it would be cool like if something like Stopwatch was like 20 cents instead of 15. And then there was items that... You know, aren't so good in the shop that were like always, you know, seven cents, like not on sale for seven cents, stuff like that. I think it would add more interest. You'd also probably end up going in the shop more often. I don't know. Just a thought. And maybe if like, wait, are red hearts three cents? I think red hearts are three cents. That makes sense.
Oh, hello, little fly that just spawned out of nowhere. Oh, wow, that was close. I think Cuba Meat saved us there. So we can't get one coin, but we can get the other. Wouldn't mind just throwing in the donation machine and calling it a day. <laughs> Dead Eye basically ups your damage the more consecutive uh, tiers that you shoot and hit. These are both going to get done because we have golden keys. So we're actually going to net a key there. And then as far as a super secret room goes, very well could be here. It is indeed. Red chest looking for a guppy item. No luck. Bad trip is not what you want. Full health is fine. We're going to hold on to the lemon party pill. Uh, this is catacombs two. We have six cents. We have four bombs, 12 keys. Shoot the poops. Do what we can. We already got the secret room and the super secret room. We can't get that coin. Let's go donate six cents. Why not? I'm not going to waste bombs just to get there quicker. Can we go into the challenge room? We cannot. I've just been really, really, really rude to the donation machine, and now it is clogged up, and that's fine. I'm fine with it. Gave it a little a little love. Get a little bit of love, and uh, let's sip this iced coffee, which is actually old and um, pretty much all water. But, hey, water, water, our hydro homies. One of the best subreddits of all time. Shout out to our hydro homies, if any of you guys are out there. You very well could be. Where did we get all these bombs from? Uh, that's amazing. I'll definitely take screw. That helps out an insane amount. This is where it gets a little awkward with the bone heart. Um, because we'll take Hora Babylon, but it's not going to really matter yet. We're going to have to try to figure out a way. I mean, a arcade would probably help. Uh, you know, a blood donation machine would help. I don't know if you could break the bone heart with a blood donation machine. Very curious, actually, to find that out. We are going to play this for sure. Okay, it's already, it's already paying out. already paying out for sure i think we've uh netted netted a gain here marked oops it's not marked dead eye sorry they're both red targets um one's very good one's not so great uh, the one that we have is Deadeye, and it is very good. But it's not something where I'm like, ooh, gotta hit every shot. It's just kind of like a law of averages thing where I'm just firing away and hoping that we get the multiplier, but I'm not gonna not shoot. Because the more you shoot, it seems like the quicker you clear rooms, especially when you have something like uh, the bone fracture where it just and rubber cement where things are just all over the screen. So I'm not gonna sit here and aim each shot, even though it would probably help our... Multiplier, our damage multiplier, go up and up and up and up. But it just doesn't seem very practical. Diplopia is not bad at all. Not bad at all. We have a 36% chance to deal with the devil. Let's uh, see our item room and full explore here because there's much more to be had, I believe, on this floor. And we could think about if we want a Diplopia Pandora's box and play it. Uh, or just re-roll the shop and look for something better. We did, we will have probably one more shop after this floor unless we run into greed. Which is a possibility at all times. Play the lead, baby. Lead synth. Oh, God. Eternal Heart. I think I'm going to stay away from that just because we have Hora Babylon in the, sitting in the wings waiting for us to activate it. Unfortunately, we have this Bone Heart, which is making it more difficult, which is just another reason why I don't like taking Bone Hearts like ever. 
Uh, Bloody Lust is good. It is good. We don't have a trinket, so we might as well take Liberty Cap. Which also could give you mapping as well. There it is. A little tease of the map anyway. Okay, that worked out better than I thought. Usually that room's a little bit more difficult without flight and we don't have flight. Is a bomb worth it for two coins? That's gonna be a no for me. Sorry, two bombs for two coins is a better way to put it. We have 13 cents. We could buy Diplopia. Again, I could Diplopia Pandora's box and use one of them here and then use the other in the womb two. Or the womb one, sorry. Man, this creep, huh? This creep is really making it difficult to kill this room quickly. We have some good tiers right now. I mean, that screw helped us tr tremendously. Uh, I'm not gonna reroll the whole run. I think we've built something here. Plus, then what, 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 what will I do with my bouncy, bouncy bone tears thumb, uh, t episode title name? You know, that's already lodged in my brain. What will I do then? And rerolls to me can be interesting, but they could be very not interesting. You guys know how I feel about rerolls. Mm. Right, let's go fight the boss. We have a 36% chance at a deal with the devil. Other than blowing up a demon beggar, that's pretty much as good as we can get right now. And we killed the boss relatively quickly here. Just don't take any damage on the way out. And this is where it gets a little dicey. Like, do we take this because we have a deal here? We can't give up our bone heart. We're already not in Horror Babylon, so I'm going to take it. Unfortunately, it is Krampus. That is not what you want to see. Would love lump of coal here, though. Tell you that much. Krampus's head would be useless for us. And it is Krampus's head, unfortunately. I'm going to blow up all this. We do have a world card here, which we're going to take over Lemon Party, which we seem to just neglect to use for some reason. And, uh, yeah. I mean... It does suck, but it also is like, and yes, we could have maybe bought Diplopia or rerolled the shop, but it's all right. Yeah, 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 I don't know. A Curse of the Blind is not good at all, but we got to live with it. I'm going to wait on the world card. The womb one is going to be very nice because we're going to get the two boss items and we're also going to be able to play the world card to get mapping on the womb. And I love me some mapping on the womb. Do, 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 do. Okay. Thought he would have died. We got a big thick boy. Damn boy. Damn boy, he's thick. Okay. We don't know what it is. Gemini. Could have been worse. It's actually not bad considering we have BFF. Bait it. Okay, or not. <laughs> or not. We're going to go for the shop here for sure. Even though we have Curse of the Blind, I wouldn't mind blindly buying something. It does not break our bone heart, unfortunately. That breaks my real heart. Left hand. It's an interesting proposition. Sure. I mean, we have a guppy item, so why not try? We just got to remember to drop it before the chest. The classic mistake of going down to the chest with the, the left hand. We want to not pick up red hearts. I mean, it's a little bit forgiving on this floor if we pick up red hearts because we still have the blood donation machine. But I would much rather not because being in Horror Babylon with this big ass BFF Gemini and the Cuba meat and the bone tears is pretty dang good. I'm not going to lie. 
I would love to stay in it for as long as possible. Sometimes it's very difficult to avoid uh, picking up red hearts. Sometimes it just happens. He's going to explode into tears. Yes, he is. There's one more. I think it's worth the key. We'll do this instead because then we'll get a key back and we'll get that sack. And it's the magician. And we're going to do this to get to the red chest. Is it a pill? It's a pill. A wharf. We're going to take the world. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. We could do this for some soul hearts. I don't know if we technically need them right at this moment. I think we're okay. We don't know what this is. I just hope it's not flashlight. It's jar of flies, which is a decent item, but... Not something we can really take. And that didn't hit the reroll. I was hoping for an item on sale. No item on sale. Maybe we just keep hoping for an item on sale. Because we have eight cents. Nope. Not looking good. Not looking good. We can buy a soul heart. Okay. Okay. I know the chances of it being on sale are very low. Okay, that's already broken. Uh, we can come back and buy one of those 15 cent items if we get, you know, 7 cents. I think we go in here. It's a little bit risky, but... That is good. <laughs> that is good because it's guppy. That is good because it's guppy. Unfortunately... We still have the bone heart. It didn't get rid of the bone heart. Not even guppy, uh, not even nine lives get ri gets rid of the bone heart. So with that being said, we got to go back to the arcade and play it a little bit. This is not the arcade. Lusty blood also getting in into play here because we played the blood donation machine. We also went into the curse room, so our damage is pretty freaking high right now because of that. I want to get back in a whore of Babylon. Get two more cents. Five more cents and we can go buy a blind item if we so desire. I'm guessing secret room here. Nope. That was a pure guess. I mean, it very well could be right there. Ooh, demon beggar. Uh, yeah, we are insanely powerful right now. Uh, because of lusty blood and because of the... Dead Eye and Horror Babylon. Okay, yeah, let's just go fight the boss. And then we'll go down to the Womb 1, use our Pandora's box, use the world. Hopefully not pick up any red hearts. That's like our biggest concern right now. Uh, I really wish I knew what these were because one could easily be a guppy item I think the play here is to take the uh, I don't think it matters I think we're gonna spend the same amount no matter what we're gonna spend the same amount no matter what we got mom's knife which I'm not a fan of we had it last uh go around which you know, it was good because we had Loki's horns, but we actually had really good tears here, and I'm very sad about it. I'm very sad about Mom's Knife here. That really, really, really hampers the run. It makes it a lot less interesting. Uh, we're going to be powerful no matter what. Uh, that would put us out of Hora Babylon. That would act. This would actually put us out of Hora Babylon as well because it fully restores your red health, which I'm assuming is a bone heart. Huh. Bit of a predicament here, not gonna lie. Was trying for Guppy there. No luck. I really don't know what to do. I mean, we could full-blown just forget Hora Babylon and go 
uh, Halo, which is an all stats up, and then also go PJs, which is going to give us a bunch of HP. It's a bit of a difficult proposition, to be honest. Because you also have to weigh the fact that we might accidentally pick up a red heart anyway. Let's see what this does. Okay, it does fill up the, the thing. All right, well, we're just going this way instead. I don't know if this is going to even out to be just as good as Lower Babylon or worse or what. Either way, it's not going to matter. We're powerful no matter what. We are still one guppy item away from the gupster, which now is way less interesting because of mom's knife. God damn it, mom's knife. Why? 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 I mean, I couldn't not take that deal with the devil, right? I could not take it because we're one guppy item away. I guess I could have thought about it being a two heart deal and like measure what kind of two heart deals there are in the game. And I don't think there's any two heart guppy items, which is something I guess I could have sussed out in my brain. But also, <laughs> it could have been so many other good items, you know? I don't know. It's hard to think that way because hindsight's 2020. So stupid. Just had to keep my distance because he was going to explode. And I did not use the world card, which you know what? At this point is totally fine. And we're just going to wait till the womb two to use the world card. I don't know if a golden key is even worth a bomb right now. I will say that a red chest is worth the bomb. Oh, that's Gup. That's gup up. Uh, not that exciting because we have Mom's Knife, but at least it's giving us flight. You know? I guess. I guess we have that. Not only that, we could drop the left hand right now so we don't forget to drop the left hand because it's something I could definitely do. Tears down. Sucks, but doesn't suck that much with Mom's Knife. I mean, sometimes mom's knife can help you out. In that situation, it does. It does affect it, but it's not that big of a deal. Mama Gertie, down very quickly. Mom's lipstick, 100% nothing to write home about, but... I was going to say, we're just hoping for not Curse of the Lost here, and we get Curse of the Lost. So we are not going to have the world card here, <laughs> but... We can use it in the cathedral, I guess, if we don't have Curse of the Lost. We're very, I mean, I can't be that upset because this is a one run. Uh, we have nine lives. We have BFF with uh, Gemini, which is very nice, and Cuba Meat, and then the Mom's Knife on top of everything. A nice damage stat. So, we're gonna win, so I can't be that upset. It's just we just had Mom's Knife, and we actually had a fun Mom's Knife run. And bouncy, bo bouncy Bone Tears are gone. And we could have continued to synergize with them. And it would have been a lot of fun. Okay. Those guys are pretty hard when you have Mom's Knife. I just feel like you're, de you're destined to get hit by one of them if there's multiple. Just because of the mechanic of that enemy. If you don't have a certain amount of speed to get out of dodge, you're going to be in trouble. I have no idea where I'm going because of Curse of the Lost. I have zero idea. But we're just trying to make our way through this. It's not looking so good. Must be up. Oh, yeah. Drive to Survive Season 2. The, the F1 uh, Netflix special came out today. Drive to Survive Season 1 is the reason I got into F1. So I am, needless to say, very, 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 very excited for Drive to Survive Season 2. I can't wait to watch it. I mean, at this point, do you just take do you just take the heart? Just with this, um, 
I think we take the heart. It's unlike me, but I think we just take the heart. We do have a 67% chance to get a deal with the devil. So now we have two hearts to bargain with. We did not get a deal with the devil, but we'll go into the cathedral. Hopefully no curse of the lost here so we could finally use our world card. Uh, no curse of the lost. We'll use the world card. Two lemon, three lemon party pills. We'll see what that is. It's a pretty fly. Okay. Lemon party actually working out pretty well there. We'll go get another one. Lemon party does not hurt the flying enemies. You can cut off one room here with two bombs. Also access the secret room. Trying to put him into the pee. <laughs> and we'll take the lemon party to uh, pop on to Isaac. Not sure why I'm getting money. I don't know. You never know. Money equals power. We have the bombs to use. And uh, yeah. It's a why not situation. We're already in the secret room. We used a bomb to get out of it to avoid that bottom left corner room. Actually, we don't need to. Okay. We're going to get to the, the boss fight very quickly here. So maybe a blessing in disguise that we had Curse of the Lost on the womb too. Oh, yeah. For those of you who don't know what Drive to Survive is, Formula One racing. Drive to Survive is like a behind-the-scenes documentary-style look at the past F1 season, which may seem boring. And I thought it was going to be boring when I first started watching it, but Netflix kept recommending me the first season about a year and a half ago. And I was like, okay, already. I'll check it out. Uh, and yeah, man. Completely hooked. Got me into the whole entire sport. It was such a good documentary. All right, here we go. Let's see what this whole... I mean... <laughs> does this look familiar or what? Does it look familiar or does it look familiar? The D-Infinity. Reroll forever. We also now... We have Dead Tooth, which creates a little bit of a poison... Poison aura... We, I, will I D4? Yeah, I D4 at this point. Just because mom's knife is so sleepy. I D100. I'd get out of this run as soon as possible. So that's why we use the, the D infinity there to get a new D. And our second D is the D20. The D20 is going to get used improperly here. Just kidding. It's going to get used properly. And we get a speed up trinket, which is nice. We're going to use the D12 as soon as possible. I'm I'm pretty much actively looking for a D4 or a D100 here. We have the win locked up. Let's not get it twisted. Like, this is a one run with this build. It's just... We had Loki's Horns and Mom's Knife last run. I already don't love Mom's Knife. Yeah, okay. Now, next is the D100. Uh, I think Yo Listen was trying to tell me there's a secret room here. So we'll check it out. Just a couple coins. Wonder if it's a shortcut. I don't think it's a shortcut. Let's go into the next big room. One, it'll charge our D100. And usually, usually you want to go towards big rooms to get to the end. But not in this case. And when we do re-roll, we will not re-roll out of Guppy. Which is a good thing. If we get to a tier-based run, Guppy will be... Back in effect. We got a mom transformation. We got chocolate milk. Now we have infestation. Okay. We have a D8, which is going to reroll our stats. Unfortunately, chocolate milk and charge shot. Not great with Guppy. Oh, God. It was so loud. We do have the mom transformation, so we have a knife chilling by us. It's not the worst run. I mean, it's all out of whack now. It's all out of whack now. 
Stick a couple of tears onto him and run away before it explodes. We're in visible here, so he can't hit us. We have the D20 again, looking for the D4, D100, just to get out of this run as well. Just to have some fun with the run, you know? This isn't a bad one, and we we'll probably can easily win with it, especially with full HP. Let's, instead of uh, wasting a charge, let's go get a natural recharge and then get the battery. It's going to be a D8 again. It's another D20. We definitely can win with this. I mean, the explodey tiers when they get stuck. Very, very powerful item. I don't, I don't seem to see a ton of... Flies being produced? Oh, yeah, a decent amount. When I spam the chocolate milk, it seems to uh, get a decent amount of them going. Okay, we got a D100 here, which is good. See what uh, other runs are behind the curtain. Wheel of Fortune sometimes it becomes an item. Maybe every time, I don't know. Another lemon party pill. Definitely utilize in this situation. We have Curse of the Tower, for sure. D100. We got Bezelbub. We got some wild ass shit going on. We got Hemo and Marked. And the pool ball eyes. It's a wild one. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I mean... We definitely could win with this one as well. It might take us a little bit longer, but... Yeah. What else we got? We got Death's Touch, which I guess is overridden by the Billiard Eyes and also Hemo. I will try to reroll out of this one. I just don't know if we'll have time. Wow, that completely melted Ragman. Completely melted him. It's interesting because they're penetrative, but they're also pool ball eyes. I, I don't know. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting one. The next up is the D8. We also have butt bombs. Which it didn't look like we have any, any super fun synergies. We got a little bit of damage, got a little bit of speed. And I guess this is the run we're going to finish on because we got a D12. If it was a D4, D100, I would charge it and get another run going, but... This is gonna, this is how it's gonna end. At least, at least we got the, the infinity to spice up that run. Cause it was looking an awful lot like the last run. And I love, I love some variety in my Isaac life. But that's gonna be a win. And a win, as we say, is a win. A win is a win. Blue baby goes down and what goes up? The win streak. A 28 win streak. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Come back next time for us trying to get 29. If you get 300 likes on this episode in the first 24 hours, and that next episode I was talking about will be up. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like. Helps me out a ton. Check out the top left for a recommended YouTube video. Shout out to all the Patreons on the right side of the screen. Growing by the day. Thank you guys for the support. You guys are what allows me to continue to do this every day, as well as the interactions, the comments, the likes. Patreon on the bottom left if you want to join. Hit the W to subscribe. Turn on the bell to join the bell, boys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, all right? Until next time, stay safe, stay up, and peace out.